Good morning. It's good to say good morning. <laughs> it's Craig here, uh, 31st of January. Yesterday, uh, I wasn't saying good morning, I was saying it's very late at night because uh, I had a very, very busy day um, and I just did not get a chance to do a morning recording. Um, I got a little bit of writing in, but definitely not nearly enough for what would have made me um, happy. So it was a bit of a bit of a somber uh, video yesterday because um, it was the first one that I really just felt like I just uh, really missed the mark in terms of the morning writing slot that I'm wanting to be consistent with every day and and you know morning blog update and recording of this uh, video um, those are the the boxes that I like to tick um, each day to make sure that the novel comes to life and doesn't slip behind uh, all the other tasks and responsibilities of the day. Um, so this morning uh, I've corrected that. I wanted to wake up earlier. So yet, yet last night I said, I've got to get up early, get back into the routine. Even if it's a busy day ahead, make sure to rise um, early enough to be on top of things. And I um, accidentally woke up at about 3 a.m. <laughs> uh, but I went back to sleep. Um, and then I got up at a good time and uh, and uh, yeah, I did writing. Um, and what did I do? I finished, I finished Act One Point One. Um, so I finished all the thin slicing of the scene descriptions for Act One Point One, um, which is which is great um, because really, I mean really, it it probably has taken a couple more days than I intended because the idea is to try and complete an act a day in terms of the thin slicing because there's 24 acts across the book and I want to be totally wrapped up by the end of February so that I'm good to start with the prose at the start of March and I know I've said in other um, recordings I can be a little bit flexible with that I don't need to be on the the dot but uh, there really should be no reason to go over that I mean, I do have a very busy month coming up. <laughs> I've got a very busy month of travel and weird hours. Um, so it's going to be a real commitment to to make it happen. And I've got even some days over the next couple of days where I'm just thinking, um, you know, when's it going to happen? Like, it's not even a matter of necessarily waking up early because there's a lot of early travel involved and then and then it's say driving so I can't write when I'm driving and then um, you know stuff during the day and then there's things in the evening that are part of that daily stuff so um, but I can't let it go by I can't let a day happen where I just think well it's not going to happen today because then there's no reason why the next day it, it uh, wouldn't be, be the same you know and then you just end up with five days where you haven't written written anything and from the very start um, you know the commitment has been to write every single day and to put in an hour um, if possible every single day and record this vlog um, so that's the that's that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> I haven't missed a day yet even if yesterday came close I, I still uh, did not miss it and um, so yeah, my, my plan is, you know, to do that and I guess, you know, getting good night's sleep so I can wake up that extra hour or two early um, to make it happen when it needs to happen. So um, yeah, it will happen and uh, I, don't, I can't promise what the background is going to be <laughs> for tomorrow's vlog. It may um, be very dark wherever I am or it may be uh, beside the road somewhere on the road trip that I'm going to be taking. Um, either way, I will absolutely make sure it happens and that I get the writing in, of course, um, first of all. But jumping back into the writing, um, so the, it's been a really, really great exercise. It makes me feel very confident, very happy, very eager to make the prose happen. Um, so, I mean, I guess it, just on a technical front, I'm using uh, Scrivener to write and plan the book. And, um, sorry, there's just a noise outside, take two. Um, so I'm using Scrivener to uh, write and plan the book. And um, 
so what I've done for this phase four planning is I've, you know, got my, you know, um, the six chapters of the book as folders, and then within each of those folders, there are the four acts inside of um, each chapter. So Act um, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, and then within each Act folder, there's another folder with my scenes for that act. So there are then um, there are five folders for scene one through five. And then within each of those folders, there are three documents, um, one, two, and three, for the beginning, middle, and end of the scene. And um, so it's those that I'm composing at the moment. So I've just, um, like I said, I've completed Act 1.1, which is um, 15 different scenes, because um, that's three scenes per, three micro scenes per scene in that act. And there's five scenes, so three times five. 15 so that's what I finished this morning um, and uh, and it's just it's great because it's it's just such a description such a an explicit description of what the prose needs to be for that particular section and um, it's just really cool so uh, it's going to be really nice I'm really looking forward to to when I start writing just to see if it's a really big help or whether I think how am I going to cram the prose I need to cram into one of you know one of my very prescriptive you know 222 words or whatever um but we'll see we'll see how it goes um uh, anyway that's that um probably dragging this out a bit longer than it needs to be i'll cut it off there i'm going to be starting on act 1.2 tomorrow um and i mean hopefully i can complete all the micro scenes for that tomorrow. We'll see, even if I do half in the morning and maybe get, get a chance to do half in the evening. Um, we'll see how we go. Uh, but uh, yeah, that, that will be the, that, that will, that will be the goal. Um, and then I can do 1.3 the next day and then 1.4 and just go on like that. So I'll be marching forward across the month of all these micro scenes. Um, it's the 1st of Feb tomorrow. Um, awesome. I think I, the only other thing I was going to say was it's been nice, it's been funny, the the scenes and the micro scenes that I've been doing for Act 1.1, which was the very start of the novel, and I had a really good idea of how I wanted it to start, so the micro scenes flowed really nicely, but I still had a really good opportunity to add in things from Phase 3. Um, that I've rethought about. So there's a part at the very end of Act 1.1 where I didn't have a lot of content for how it would end. I had a general sense of what it was going to be, but it certainly wasn't going to take up the word count on the page. Um, but then when I thought about what I'd learned in Phase 3 of planning and what some of the contextual background memories and antecedents that were going to um, impact upon the characters um, when I started to do well, one of the micro scenes for the end of Act 1.1 um, it pulled upon those considerations from Phase 3 beautifully and it's made a little a little package ending that's just pitch perfect for what needs to be there and introduces things that will foreshadow pardon me actions that are, are to come and um, it's just perfect so that was really cool um, to put down all right I'll end it there um, good things going forward and I'll uh, be back tomorrow morning in some capacity I'll see you then